Yeah, it feels great. Um, I got to start here, uh, start the year here for a couple weeks, and uh, I got to know the guys really well. And uh, you know, the best thing that could have happened to me was go down to the ECHL and get some games in, get some minutes in, and uh, build some confidence. And coming back up, I mean, an opportunity came, and um, I'm glad uh, we got the win. Yeah, Toledo is a pretty intense city to play in. How different is it from Grand Rapids? Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's uh, definitely some similarities, especially with the crowd. And, um, I think uh, Toledo, you know, it's a great organization. And they really care about their players there and uh, take uh, take pride in, in the team. And it was a uh, it was a special place to play for sure. Mm -hmm. You guys got seven penalties tonight. Was that just a matter of recklessness, or there was it kind of shifting in Rockford's favor? And you guys kind of had to step up to match that. Yeah, you know, I think especially in the third period when uh, we started to get some penalties, they were moving their feet well and kind of bringing it to us. I mean, they were down, and you got to expect that. But uh, I thought the boys handled it well and blocked some big shots and got some good clears. And overall, it was a pretty effort. Mm -hmm. And going into tomorrow's game, obviously, you guys are traveling through the night and everything. What are you looking to do differently than you did tonight, if anything? I think uh, just stick to the game plan. Um, our, we started the game off really well, got pucks deep and uh, limited the turnovers. And then in the second, we got away from our game a little bit. But in the third, we were able to close it out. So I think we take uh, take the good from the bad and uh, learn from or take the good from the game and, and learn from the bad and, and move forward. And overall, with your game, what are you looking to contribute to this team? You know, with, with Pickett's and match being up, you got a bit of a big chance here. Um, yeah. What are you doing to, to kind of make yourself known? Yeah, I mean, it's a great opportunity, but uh, nothing changes for me. I just got to come in and play simple and smart um, and uh, go from there. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I mean, it's been a little while since we had two in a row, so obviously uh, something to build on going into Rockford tomorrow, try to finish the weekend off on uh, you know, a three-game winning streak and then kind of uh, enjoy our day off Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then you have an 11-game 11, 11 point streak. Now, what has been going right for you and how are you going to carry that going tomorrow? Yeah, honestly, I haven't really thought about it too much. Uh, I see it on Twitter when people tweet at me and stuff, but other than that, um, you know, just trying to keep playing my game and, and kind of, uh, you know, just keep, keep the things going for the team. And, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, playing with uh, Terry and I right now, we're finding some good chemistry, so, uh, you know, he's obviously a great player, and it's a lot of fun. And is there anything that you would want to do differently going up tomorrow? Um, you know, uh, probably stay out of the box a little more. We had uh, quite a bit of penalties tonight, but, um, you know, sometimes it's going to happen, so obviously just stay out of the box, but I thought for the most part we were, uh, we were pretty good throughout the game. Well, that was nice. Uh, I thought we played well in the first. Uh, we sloppy in the second, obviously. I think penalties were like eight to two or eight to three, so um, you know we need to stay out of the box. I think it ruins the flow of the game, and guys that do PK get maybe overused, and the guys who don't PK lose the rhythm of the game. But uh, uh, strong performance in the third to get get a couple there, and then uh, overall I think it's it's a good team win. And then you and are doing pretty well for this team point wise. So what is going well for you, and how are you going to carry that into tomorrow? Uh, yeah, things are clicking right now. I think, um, you know, when you get an opportunity to play with a guy for uh, numerous yeah. games, I think you build chemistry. I think, um, you know, we have some a pretty good friendship off the ice, have been for over a year now. So it uh, makes it easier to play together, and um, things are working working right now. So. It feels really good. I thought we played a good game, and the scores felt good. How do you feel the PK and your special teams have been doing a lot better this season? And where do you fall in that equation? Uh, really good, yeah. Both special teams is really good. Uh, power play, keep scoring goals. Uh, Trump's carrying are really good there right now. Having a hot streak and uh, PK is doing their job. And uh, also Picker has been unreal. What can you tell me about McCree's performance tonight? Is his first AHL debut? He's really good. We were all really pumped about his game. Uh, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Everybody was excited for his debut, and uh, he did great. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like you're fitting into this team? Because you're, you're kind of a recent acquisition. Do you feel like you're really getting some chemistry with the team? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good team. We have a good, good locker room. Uh, guys are taking me really well here, and uh, feels feels like I've known him for uh, longer than uh, a couple months. So it's been good. I thought he had a great first game. He, uh, I think he knows who he is as a player. He's a smart player. Uh, he kept things simple, he blocked some shots, he was pretty responsible with the puck, and I thought all in all it was a very solid first American League hockey game. Mm -hmm. And aside from his size, what do you think is his biggest asset? It's obviously a big body, but... Yeah, you know. I think I, I think when he keeps things simple, that's mm -hmm. when he's at his best. I don't think he overcomplicates things. I think he recognizes when there's danger and when there isn't. I think he plays within his means. Mm -hmm. And with Hicketts and Max still being up and it kind of leaves a hole in the defense a little bit, what did mm -hmm. you see out of them tonight kind of compensating for those losses? Well, I thought all in all with the 
you know, with the call-ups that we've had, the opportunity that was presented to some of the other guys that didn't get those minutes before, I thought they stepped in and did pretty well. Now, or is there a particular D you kind of leaning on to fill those minutes? Because Joey logged a lot of minutes every single yeah, night. No, I, I thought uh, I thought Lindy played well. Mm -hmm. he, he logged a lot of minutes. He did PP, PK, mm -hmm. five on five. I thought Sides was consistent tonight. I thought Billy played well. I thought Cass played responsible for mm -hmm. the most part. I mean, I can't. Uh, can't pick anyone apart too uh, too easily. I thought everyone played a pretty solid game. You know, obviously there are a couple moments in everyone's game that you want to get back and mistakes are made, but I thought all in all it was a pretty solid effort by all six of them. Now you guys got hit with quite a few penalties tonight. What mm -hmm. did you see out of your PK? They were pretty efficient overall, but what yeah. did you No, I, I think they were aggressive when they needed to be, and I think they recognized when they could pressure and when they couldn't. I thought they did a good job of gutting it out and you know at the end of the day your best PK guy is your goalie and picks makes a big saves. Absolutely he's been dynamite. Mm -hmm. um, now Zadina he had a couple points tonight and yep. that has been his biggest area of growth. I know we've talked about him a little bit here and there but he seems to have had a pretty good game this, this last couple yeah, games. No he, he's he's working there's no question he's competing he's working he's winning a lot more mm -hmm. puck battles consistently uh, he's getting to those harder to score areas. I think any goal scorer uh, you're going to score more goals the the more you go off and get into those harder areas. Would you say he's tight. understanding his time and space a little bit better now this season than he did last season? Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily time and space. I just think it's more of a compete and a, a want to get to those harder areas. Mm -hmm. I think he's got more of a consistent uh, effort to do that. Mm -hmm. And now going forward into tomorrow, obviously you don't want to hear any penalties, but yeah. after looking at the video and everything, what would you guys what are you going to kind of focus on going into tomorrow night? Well, we just have to recognize, I think, be a little bit more responsible situational I guess is the best way like recognizing when to you know pressure pucks when to back out when to live the fight another day and I thought in the first period we did that well in the second period we got away from that we gave up way too many odd man rushes which led to us being on our heels which led to penalties which led to uh, the shots being 13 to 2 so anytime you get two shots a period you're not going to have too much success and I thought in the third period we managed the game well enough but again we took too many penalties and they were penalties I'm not arguing disputing that we have to make sure that we're not giving a team seven power play opportunities. Mm -hmm. Now with Pumple and Terry, the leading goal scorers on the team currently, does it concern you at all that they're the top performers and there's not many kind of catching up to that? Or No, I, you know, they're, they're playing well and I think the other lines are starting to, you know, I thought all four lines contributed in some facet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, though it takes a little bit of time, but you know, I'd rather have you know, right now one line's going, the other guy, you know, we had every line contribute tonight. Mm -hmm. So. You know, if we get to a point where it comes stale and the other lines aren't able to pull their own weight, we may have to spread the wealth a little bit, so to speak. But, uh, you know, I thought Turs went up with pumps and tears and played well. And then Bellino played well for Porto and Elson. I think uh, Pierce did well with Svetch and Z. So, and then I thought that McLeod line was very good with, uh, with Luco and Shiner. So, you know, not a lot of complaints from there. Again, just a little bit more consistent uh, common sense sometimes. That's about it. And out of Svech, this is his first season back after being an injury and he seems kind of frustrated. Do you think that his, his mental game is kind of a roadblock for him right now? No, I think Svech is a, he cares and that's his biggest attribute. He works extremely hard. He cares about not only his success, but the team's success. He wants to be a big part of a winning team. So we actually spoke the other day and you know, talked about a few things and hopefully he can you know, continue to grow. And he hasn't played a lot of hockey lately. And Last week he had strep throat, so he missed some games there. So he's been just unfortunate right now with the the, the injury bug, and you know, it's tough to get your legs underneath it when you haven't played all year, and then you, you get sick. So you know, he, he just has to get his legs under him and get some confidence, and he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And then going off from Paul and Terry, what is mm -hmm. making them play so well, getting those points? I think they're playing away from the puck. When they're playing better away from the puck, they're getting more opportunities offensively, and I think that the more responsible they are, they're going to spend less time in the D zone, which means more time in the O zone, more time with the puck, and I think you're seeing that correlation with the success that they're having. Mm -hmm. Is there any improvement that you want to see going into tomorrow's game? I just think a little bit smarter, more responsible game, and a little bit more consistency from the start to the finish. We can't have a 20-minute lull where we uh, get out shot 13-2, to two, but you know, we'll look at the tape and see what we need to correct and make some corrections and get on the bus and go see our Rockies.